same field and you're trying to be competitive, sure, show them the basics, but don't show them your tricks and trade. But if it's like a stupid thing, like, you know, you and your friend are working on a car and you know how to do something quicker than they do, and you're not like in a competing business, show that person. What is the big deal of people knowing how to do things like you do? If what you do works, help your friends out. Like a good example is me, I do I do private security off and on. Okay, so I do things a little more different than other people. I could show somebody how I do something. But it is up to them to take the advice or not. I'm not withholding of my knowledge or what I think would work. You see, you could put that out there from someone and show them what you do and how you do it. And it might be the right way, it might be the wrong way. But if you put out what you do and you ask them, well, how do you do it? You can kind of like get a... I don't know, like a a buffet of ideas, you know? And pick and choose what works for you, what betters your job. Guys, you know, I don't know what the whole thing is like, oh, I'm only going to show him this, this, and this. I'm not going to give him everything. Why not? That's your boy. That's your friend. My friends, heck, I'll give them every little bit of knowledge I have, every bit of relationship advice, every bit of, you know, life advice, you know, how to do this, how to do that. There's nothing I really withhold because I wouldn't want them to withhold that from me. If they know something, how to do something that I don't, I would want them to show me. We always need to learn and to grow. But with friendships, it's weird, you know. Friendships are not family, but you do have those friends you call family. I have friends I call family. I have really close friends I have known for years. I call family. Heck, when I was going, when I was engaged and I was getting, thinking about getting married and we were talking about marriage, I had a list of guys I wanted as groomsmen. Now, these were guys I considered not only friends, but family. A lot of them were in the band I was in at the time, but I had a few other choices that I considered family. I call these people my brothers. I call them, you know, my my family knows them. Like, literally, anybody walk through my front door without knocking will get knocked the fuck out. They do it. It's carte blanche. I'm still going to ask, why, why, what's going on? Why are you here? But <laughs> I'm not going to just full on start swinging, you know? So there is a, a good and a bad. Certain friends got certain passes, you know? Now, don't say, oh, I prefer to be the loner, I don't need friends. We are social creatures by nature. Whether you want to admit it or not, you need friends. You're like, what the fuck, I don't need no friends. Well, then you're one of those people that are just a taker. You'll use people for your own benefit, but not really care about a building an emotional bond. If you don't have friends, it is proven that it makes your relationships suffer, your love relationships, your family relationships. There are some people who don't have any friends at all. They think. Keep in mind, they think. Believe it or not, you may say to yourself, oh, I don't have any friends. I got no friends at all. But what if you're not considering certain people friends, but they consider you a friend? You may not call these people all the time or go hang out with them, but they may consider you a friend. I have friends that I'd never hang out with. I see them. I talk to them. We share emotions between each other. You know, oh, I'm really going through a tough time at work or, oh, my wife took, you know, my car. You know, they tell me things. Those could be friends but it doesn't mean, oh, I don't hang out with them so they're not my friend. No, that is not what it means. It is sharing an emotional bond and actually opening up to people, building each other up. You know, if a guy, if you keep talking to the same guy every freaking day, 
You know, say you see each other at the bus stop every day and you're always talking to each other about life, about everything. You know each other by name. You're sharing emotions. You care about this person. You know, like, hey, I didn't see you the other day. Is everything all right? You know, that kind of thing, whether you want to believe it or accept it, is a friend. Now, I'm not saying you have to go out and buy them birthday gifts and all that. That's up to you. But it is a friend. A lot of times you take your friends for granted. You do. People don't appreciate you as a friend or you don't appreciate them. We are too wrapped up in our own worlds. Let me ask you something and be perfectly honest with yourself. When is the last time you asked your friend, How are you? Is everything okay? Is everything going good? You know, if you need to talk about something, dude, I'm here for you. Silence. I bet you don't do that to all your friends. Sure, you're like, oh, we don't talk about our emotions. That's what women do. No, shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. If you hold things in, it will destroy you. Watch out for toxic people, though. You can tell people how you feel or what's going on, but always wonder why they want to know. And just ask them, well, why do you ask? If they say, well, I'm really concerned about you, man. I really care about you. And this is a friend you've known for a while, and you know they really do care. You know, talk. A shoulder to cry on could be very helpful. Guys, you know, but if... You're in a relationship with someone, that person you should be telling your emotions and your day to. I'll be honest. Guys, be careful because, you know, if you don't, this is going into the love part, but, you know, if you don't, if you ain't there for your relationship at home, you know, th- that's your best friend. A relationship you're in is a best friend. So when you tell your hopes, your dreams, your thoughts, your feelings, you know, this your these are friendships, you know. You are supposed to build each other up. I'm telling you guys, be careful. The shoulder to cry on becomes a dick to ride on. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, if you are not a good friend, you're not gonna be a good boyfriend, a good girlfriend. If your family is not a good friend to you, start cutting people out. You need to learn how to cut out toxic people out of your life. A toxic person is someone who will try to control you, manipulate you, and undermine you for their own benefit. And sometimes, people, you need to look in the mirror because you are the toxic person. Look at yourself. Why are you doing the things you do? Why are you manipulating people? Why are you turning situations for your own benefit? Survival of the fittest? No, if you have the ability to do something kind for a friend or someone you care about or even a stranger, do it. Just do it. I guarantee you it will make your day feel better. I know it sounded very hippie-ish right now. This is how I feel. If you have the ability to help someone, do it. Friends are friends. Friends can become family. I don't know why people are so afraid to show their emotions around their friends or to be real in front of your boys. Guys, you can cry in front of your boys if something's bothering you. You have a loved one that passed. You are going through something medically that you're scared of. You know, these are friends here. They're supposed to help you. Guys, if you see a friend struggling, help them. Build them up. Tell, you know, ask for their. You know, assistance, what could I do to help you, man? What do you need? You need me to do anything? Let me know. As long as it doesn't financially or emotionally or mentally strain you to the point. What I mean is, if a person is like, oh, I need you to drive me over here, I need you to drive me here. I've seen a friend take advantage of another friend. This person <clears throat> said, hey, man, I'm, I need to go to the hospital. I need to go to the hospital. So my friend took his friend around to the hospital And turns out it was an animal hospital. He needed his, we'll say dog. I think it was a dog. I don't know what it was. Take the dog to the animal hospital. Goes there. Nope. 
goes to another one, goes to another one. He's like, dude, what's wrong? Why can't, is, are they not allowing the dog in? Nope. This person was going around using his friend to go buy drugs, going to different spots to buy drugs. My friend did not know it. He lost his shit. He's like, I've been wasting my whole take of gas, and you've been driving around for drugs? The way this person then paid back his kindness later on was telling me, Oh, yeah, he drove me around, but, you know, he's a real piece of shit. Your friend who thought you were in the ho- needed to go to a hospital zipped over there right away to help you. And you used him. People will use you. Don't show weakness to this. What I mean is, if you know you're being used, confront them and say, Hey, I know you're using me for this, this, and this. Knock it off, or we need to no longer be friends, because a friend would not take advantage of another friend like that. That is my advice to you people. Stand your ground with toxic people. If they are abusing you mentally, emotionally, physically, whatever, that is not a friend. That is a toxic person. Cut them out of your life. If they do not compliment you, but all they do is insult you and make you feel like shit and make you feel like a horrible person, that is a toxic person. Remove them from your life. What I mean is if this person never buys you anything, treats you out to a meal, never compliments you, never helps you, never congratulates you, just everything is negative, 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 negative. That is a toxic person. Remove them. Toxic people will make you toxic. They will draw the energy and the life and the joy of your life out of you to where it will affect you in your family and in your personal love relationships. Friends are powerful. Friends and family have the ability to destroy a love relationship. What I mean by that is, Your boys could talk so much shit about a girl, say she's cheating on you, she's doing this, she's doing that, doing that. It will start making you think that way. You will then attack her, not physically, you know, maybe just start like, oh, where were you, blah, 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 blah. And it will put a strain on your relationship. Same thing with your family. Your family can do that to your friends. I don't know why you're hanging out with this person, this person, they're this, this, and this, this, this. It will not have the same effect because you're like, oh, that's my boy. You know, no matter what my dad says, he says you're bad for me. But look at why people do this. Are they doing it because they're trying to help you? Or are they doing it because they're jealous? People get jealous. I'm just saying, friends are everything in life. We are social creatures by habit. A person who does not talk to or communicate with another person regularly does show signs of a mental strain, like you're mentally ill a little bit. Not like they're a bad person, just, you know, you want someone to talk to, to express yourself to, to open up to. Find those people. Find people that take an interest in your life and care about you. Don't don't be telling your problems to the person who's not listening on their phone. If they're looking down at their phone, they're not listening to you. Same thing in a relationship, you know, no matter what it is, family, friends, lover, if you are trying to be open with yourself and say, hey, I'm really worried about this, I'm really concerned about this, and you tell them that and they ignore you or look at their phone, they don't care enough. Find people that care about you. Find people that want to help you. Find people that want to build you up because there are a lot of friends out there that will try to make you feel guilty for things that are not your doing. They will try to ruin you. They will try to push you down far enough so they shine higher than you. What I mean is there are people who will... A good example is, you know, say a guy's got a wife and kids, but he's got a crappy job. Say he owns a house, but he's still making a car payment. A guy says, you know, hey, I just paid off my car, dude. But the other guy's still paying on his car. He's like, yeah, well, I got a house. What do you got? An apartment? That's a dick move right there to begin with. But what I'm saying is find people that build you up. 
Don't don't associate yourself with people that put you down. If people want to keep bringing up negative things about your past, give them a warning shot. Say. Hey.